Ukraine destroyed two weapons depots and one river ferry of the Russian army, 159 Russian soldiers were killed update Russia and Ukraine war. In the past day, Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated 159 invaders, also destroyed a significant amount of military equipment, a ferry crossing in two ammunition depots south of Kherson area. As reported by the Southern Operations Command, Ukrainform reported, the situation in the southern combat zone was still difficult, but it was controlled by our self-defense forces. The enemy continued to concentrate forces to hold the positions 1, actively conducting aerial reconnaissance by machine. But our unit's precision strikes resulted in the deaths of two unmanned spies, when two enemy drones were shot down. According to the Ukrainian military, the enemy is trying to find ways to improve supplies by organizing pontoon crossings over Dnipro and Inhulets. Simultaneously, the Russians launched rockets, artillery and airstrikes on Ukrainian military positions and peaceful settlements. But the Putin army suffered great losses, when the Ukrainian army staged a missile attack on the enemy pontoon bridge, causing many enemy tanks and armored vehicles to sink while crossing the river. Resupply action to strengthen Putin's forces was defeated, an estimated 30 tanks and armored vehicles of various types were sunk in the river. Our aircraft attacked six waves, while our missile and artillery units, 265, especially on MLR systems, weapons and equipment clusters, and overpasses in and Inova Kakovka area, the bridges remain under our tight fire control and are unlikely to happen. Enemy losses in the past day included, 159 soldiers, 3 Urigan MLR systems with transport loader, 2 Pion self-propelled howitzers, 1 Stas self-propelled howitzer, 3 self-propelled artillery units and mortars. 8 T-72 main battle tanks and 9 armored fighting vehicles. 2 ammunition depots in the Berislav district and a ferry terminal in Nova Kakovka were also destroyed.